Now, I've noticed a number of comments on older videos where I've used vintage lenses on Canon DSLRs from people who seemingly didn't know this was possible. It's absolutely possible. And vintage lenses are some of my favorite camera gears. Now, let's just do a bit of a techie bit. Uh, Canon DSLRs have a fairly short flange distance of 44 millimeters. That's the distance between the sensor and the mount, which means that any lenses designed for cameras with a larger flange distance can be, in theory, adapted to Canon DSLRs. So that includes Nikon F mount lenses, uh, Pentax K mount, Olympus OM mount, and one of my favorites, the M42 mount. Now, the same rules apply here as they do for native lenses, whereby you can't use an APS-C lens on a full frame body without going into crop mode or without getting that hard vignette. Uh, the lenses we're going to use today, not a problem because they're all designed for 35 millimeter film, which is the same size as a full frame sensor. Now, I brought a few lenses with me today, all M42 mount. And um, just to show you what it is, it's, it's literally this, this thing here, this plate. This side is your Canon EF mount and this side has your M42 screw thread on it, and this simply goes on the back of your M42 lens, and then you use it as the regular Canon bayonet fitting, and this works on both full frame and APS-C Canon DSLRs. So today I brought with me a 35mm f2.8, the Helios 44, which is a 58mm f2 and one of my favorite lenses, and I brought with me a 135mm f3.5 Hanimar Prime, and we're gonna go around this area. This is Bankside in Hull, and it's, it's basically an industrial estate slash art gallery. So you're going to see some cool graffiti, some old ass buildings, and it's going to be awesome. Go down here, no one wants to feed you, let's see what we can get.
images with the 35 mil and I want to switch to the Helios mainly because it's my favorite but it's just awesome so but I want to show you the adapter on the camera first so with us down there no down there we go so this is what the adapter looks like on the camera it's literally just this small plate that goes on there and then you screw your M42 mount lens right on there and it's job done all right so there it is the Helios 44M is a 58 millimeter f2 lens I'm using it at about f8 which is going to give me focus from about three or four meters to infinity I was going to eyeball it but my eyeballs aren't working so there down a bit Too close, I think. Oh, I'm getting in it from that roof line upwards at 58. I might have to swap back to the, uh, the 35 to try and get it. Switching back to the 35 for this shot because I simply can't get it in at 58, and then we'll probably use the 135 for a little bit before we finish up. Yeah, it's even quite tight at 35, isn't it? I've got a 28 which I should have maybe brought, but I don't have the Pentax. Oh, is it M42, that one? Yeah. Oh, let's have a go then. Let's have a go then. Right, what are we on? Are we on F8. So my exposure didn't change that much. Compensating for something. now to the uh, 135 to finish off I think this. Let's have some detailed shots with this 135. Wind it down to F8. vintage lenses on Canon DSLRs. Like I said before, these adapters work on both APS-C and on full frame. I'm using the 6D today. And uh, yeah, they all work great. So definitely look into these because it's a cheap and easy way to get into some focal lengths that would otherwise cost you quite a bit of money. None of the lenses I've used today have cost me more than about 30 pounds. So it's definitely worth looking into. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.